little bit of sunshine in Lincoln right now, but off towards the south, we've got some cloud cover, and we see that over our Allo Communications camera, and it's slowly but surely drifting off towards the north. At some point this morning, we may have to dodge some scattered showers in Lincoln, but the majority of the activity is off to the south right now. That's where we have the best chance this morning is uh, to the south of I-80. Let's take you through some of these showers right now. This light shower activity we are watching in Pawnee County is now uh, starting to push off towards the east in Richardson County, but still take the rain gear with you just in case because you may have to dodge more of these. We did have a shower move through Hebron, now just to the northeast of Hebron, and there's just more activity off towards the west. This axis of precipitation moving off to the north slowly towards Holdridge. Eventually, if you trek this off to the north, this may start to approach Kearney uh, before too long. So everybody south of I-80 or maybe even just a little bit north of I-80 as well. Take the rain gear with you this morning just in case you encounter one of these isolated showers. I think this version of Stormcast is a little bit too widespread with the morning round of the rain. I think this will be more uh, hit or miss stuff scattered uh, activity throughout the morning hours. We can't rule it out in Lincoln and you'll notice most of it south of I-80 but out towards uh, York and Seward can't rule it out either. So uh, as we go into the afternoon hours, uh, this activity pushes off towards the east. We dry out for the afternoon hours. Uh, we have a little bit of cloud cover, at least for the first part of the day, but then going into the afternoon as that rain exits, so does the cloud cover. We'll see the sun poke out. I'm thinking partly to mostly cloudy skies, but probably more on the partly cloudy side for the afternoon hours. And then our attention turns out towards the west. After 5, 6 o'clock, we could be watching some thunderstorms developing out in the central part of the state. And in any one of these could actually be on the strong to severe side. But once we get past sunset, the severe weather threat pretty much goes all to nothing. We'll show you the severe weather potential in just a moment. This activity moves off towards the east, could approach the capital city as the night wears on. I'm thinking Lincoln's best uh, potential is in the later evening hours and uh, going overnight and into Friday morning. Any time after 7 or 8 o'clock is probably fair game for one of these showers, but uh, I'm thinking primarily primarily later on in the evening for Lincoln. Uh, and again, we keep rain chances elevated going into the overnight hours too. As far as how much rainfall we could see out of these two rounds, uh, it just depends on where the heaviest rain falls. Where uh, we see the most rainfall is probably looking like uh, maybe upwards of an inch, lower than what we were thinking yesterday. Outside of those uh, heavier axes of precipitation, uh, we're looking at either nothing or very little amounts of precipitation. So there's a chance to see something. Best chance mainly south of I-80 to see something meaningful. Severe weather potential mainly off towards the west out towards the Tri-Cities and points to the southeast. Hebron is included within a slight risk for severe weather. Uh, you'll notice Lincoln is not, so I'm not as concerned about a severe weather potential in Lincoln. Uh, temperatures out the door right now. We're in the upper 60s and low 70s. 68 degrees in Lincoln, 71 in Beatrice. The humidity is back today. Uh, 86 degrees the high temperature for today, and if we have a little bit more rainfall in the morning, uh, it might be just slightly cooler. So for the day on Friday, I think we'll have the humidity as well. We're backing off high temperatures just a little bit, but it's still warm on Friday. Nevertheless, Saturday, the humidity starts to back off as a cold front passes through the area. We can see a couple morning uh, isolated thunderstorms as a result. As of now, Sunday is a great day to be outside. If you have to pick one day to get outside this weekend, Sunday's the day, 80 degrees with low humidity. Ugh.